Good morning children. Today we are going to read chapter 1, history, class 7. Tracing changes through a thousand years. Here we will read the medieval history from 700 AD to 1700 AD. What we will read in this chapter, we will read about the cartographers of the period, the map makers, language and the meaning, how they changed and how they died. We will read about the historians who used coins, inscriptions, architecture and textual records to write their history. We will also read about the history of 700 to 1700 AD which witnessed a variety of developments. In this period, there was a variety of political, social and economic groups that emerged. We will read about the Cholas, Toglugs and the Daily Sultans. The religious developments were also there as the Muslim religion was introduced in this time. There was change in the social and economic organization with the passage of time. Children, here you can see two types of maps. Both the maps are of India. The first map was prepared by an Arab cartographer Al Idrisi in 1154 CE. This map is flipped as it, it shows the southern area on the top and the northern area on the bottom. This second map was made uh, after 600 years of the first map and it was made by a French geographer. This, this is a complete map and here the coastal area is very much detailed. Children, here we will read how the old and new terminologies emerged during this period. The word Hindustan which we use today for our country is used by Minhaji Siraj, the 13th century chronicler to show the area of Punjab and Haryana and the land between Ganga and Yamuna. Babar used the term Hindustan to describe the geography, the fauna and the culture of the inhabitants of the subcontinent. Here again we will read the term foreigner which was used for a person who was not from the particular community or a village whereas it is used today for someone who is not from our nation. Pardesi was used for such person in Hindi and Ajnabi in historians and their sources from where the historians get the information. Variety of textual records like holy texts, chronicles of rulers, letters and teachings of saints, petitions and judicial records were available. The handwritten records are called manuscripts which were preserved in archives or libraries. These manuscripts were reproduced by the scribes. Because of different handwritings, the copied text became different from the original. Historians therefore had to read different versions of the same text to arrive at a conclusion. New religions and uh, new regions and empires. Some groups like Cholas, Tughlaqs, and Delhi Sultans emerged powerful and acquired many regions and established their empire. Conflicts over the acquisition of the area were common. Not all the rulers were successful. Religion, the regional states reemerged with the decline of the large empire. The regions continued to feel the impact of large empires keeping their distinctness and new religions. Hinduism saw important changes like emergence of new deities, construction of temples and growing importance of Brahmanas and who had knowledge of Sanskrit text. New religion like Islam emerged in the subcontinent through merchants and migrants means Martin and migrants who came to India for the trade or some other region, reason, they brought them with them a new religion which was called Muslimism, Muslim or Islamism. Islam began to be interpreted differently by its followers. It has two sects, Shias and Sunnis. Shias had faith in Muhammad's son-in-law Ali as their leader and Sunni accepted the authority of Khalifas. Thinking about the time and the historical periods. 
children as you know that the period the historical period is divided into three parts we have read about the ancient history we are studying about the medieval history and next we will read about the modern history but the british historian historians divided the history into three sides british divided the history into three periods hindu period muslim period and british period this period was based on the religion of the ruler period as the religion of the ruler was the only important thing what does it mean that the religion of a common person was not considered early societies include hunters gatherers farmers and kingdoms who are ignored in the his, uh, histories in the division of the history but even period saw the rise of religion regional and imperial states development of hinduism islamism and arrival of european trading companies because by the end of the period the european trading trading companies arrived in india through the water is modern period is says as a period of material growth and intellectual advancement unlike the early period new social and political groups this was a period of innovations mobility and social culture and political consciousness among the rulers and their people persian wheel was introduced spinning wheel was introduced and fire arms were introduced these three type of technologies were used for irrigation for weaving clothes and for combat new foods like chili potatoes and corn were introduced during this period beverages like tea and coffee was introduced in during this period and the idea crossed from one continent to an other new groups of people like rajputs who were known as son of uh, the ruler marathas sits jats ahoms and kayastas developed during this period new occupations like farming trading artisanal works and rearing of cattle led to the economic differences among people jati panchayats made their own rules and regulations for the jatis several villages were formed by the chieftains which later formed a unit of state thus children we have seen how many changes were there in during this period of 700 ad to 1700 ad now children we will uh, conclude this chapter by showing you what we read in this chapter we read that period of 700 ad to 1700 ad witness a variety of developments and changes differences between the meaning of few terms like hinduism and foreigner coins inscriptions and manuscripts were used as historical sources invention of persian wheel spinning wheel firearms were the great achievement of the period new foods like potatoes chilies and corns and beverages like tea and coffee were also discovered new occupations new religions new tribes changed the political and economic uh, change arrival of the european trading company made a great change in the period thank you children have a nice day stay home stay healthy